Right, okay, welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips. And there's a claim that a student dropped as many as 20 shots off his handicap with the one minute drill that I'm about to show you in today's video. The video comes from Seguto Golf. It's the first time that that channel is featured on Testing the Tips, and that's largely thanks to you highlighting his channel as being something that we should take note of. And he has a very, very simple drill. Two elements to it, and we're going to keep it as simple and as straightforward as possible as we can. But I also encourage you to go and watch this video on Seguto Golf's channel because he does something that I've never seen before on any of these tips channels where he pulls the cameraman from behind the camera onto the tee, never hit a golf ball before in his life, and he starts striking the ball using this method. Now, you might be skeptical like I was, but watch it and you can see it's a very authentic clip. So, what is the drill? Very simply, if you're struggling with any kind of inconsistency with strike, then I would suggest this is a real, sort of no brainer in many ways. Also, if you're starting the game, it's a very easy way to start building up confidence and getting your strike levels, uh, of the quality of strike high. We're gonna do it with irons. And the problem is with a lot of golfers, and again, I always highlight my issues, is that we tend to sway. So we sway off the ball, which means that we've got to sway back to the ball and make sure our tempo and timing is right in terms of making a decent contact. And instead of swaying, we should have more rotation. That's a big problem. So how do you make that, how do you simplify that problem? Well, Seguto Golf, and again, unfortunately, I don't know his first name, he takes a simple address position. And then what he asks you to do is he wants you to load your front left leg. It's very different than some of the other messages that you might get out there in terms of golf tuition. And he highlights that and acknowledges that himself. But he wants you to shift your weight. I would say I'm as much as sort of 65, 35 in terms of weight distribution to my front lead foot at the moment. He then talks about maybe visualizing that you're attached to a wall. So the wall is running along your left side and what you can't do is move away from the wall. So you need to stay with your weight attached to this side. That's the visualization that you've got. Then all you're gonna do with this weight, I guess say shifted over to that left side, is you're just gonna straighten the arms or straighten the left arm, I do apologize. Keep the left arm straight. We can obviously, we can bend our, our right arm, but we're just gonna take away keeps our left arm straight with the weight still distributed the way it is keep our left arm straight through the swing as well and what should happen is we hit a decent golf ball so let me get comfortable weight over to that left hand side and all I've done there is simply punch what I would say is sort of a 10 to 2 swing, which is another video that we've done very recently, but it seems that it's very much a three quarter swing. And all you'll see is that we get ball, then turf. And there's another one I hit before we started this, and you'll see a similar thing. And what's interesting is for me is that low point changes significantly, which means that I'm starting to hit ball, then turf, and you'll see a nice straight line of divots as well. So I ain't even going to waffle on with this one. There's a tendency to do so in some of the videos in terms of all these tuition videos. Like I said, go and watch Seguto Golf's explanation because that's it. It ends there. It's very much got a lot of the kind of, if anyone's ever heard of the sort of stack and tilt method, it's certainly got some of those uh, connotations, let's say. So wait over to that left-hand side. All you're going to do then is simply get a bit of rhythm and get yourself hitting down on that ball. That was better. So you're just looking to scuff the ground pick a again something he does with the student that he pulls from behind the camera pick a little point uh, on the ground and make sure you so you know where your low point is switch over your weight and make sure you're trying to hit down so left arm straight down on that ball it's that simple I'm ending it there. We're going to keep it short and sweet. It's probably the sh shortest video we've ever put out on YouTube in terms of testing the tips. But trust me, that small little tip, weight distribution, 65, 35, attached to the wall, do not sway. Just get that uh, left arm straight and see how much difference it makes in terms of your contact on that golf ball. Right, as ever, thanks for watching. That link, by the way, will be in the description box below. If you're not subscribed already to our channel, then please consider doing so. I'm basically trying to 
improve my golf and hopefully whilst I'm doing that uh, it might help a few fellow golfers along the way so thanks for watching I'll see you soon